Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the Explosive One. Jonas, I'm the man on the sticks. Yep. Breath of the Wild. Doing that shrine yep. time. Yep. So, One more shrine, then uh, see on the top left there, it tells you how many balls yeah. you have, how many shrines you've done, seeds, and money. Wow. Yeah. All your information laid out and for you. And how many uh, animal curses you have implanted into your soul. <laughs> How many animal souls I've acquired? Whoa. Oh, it's one where you have to control it, I think. You Your who favorite sucks ones. Sha Wavro, Jonas. War Warvo. Path of Hidden Winds. The Sha, Sha Wavro sign. Sha Wavro shrine, dude. Warve. So, uh, I, already I love the ambiance of this. Yeah. Oh, it's Wind Blast Up. Oh, you like these, dude. Do I? You like Wind Blasting Up, you said. Do I like things? I don't know. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, so you can't touch the ground. The floor is lava. Oh, what's up there, fella? No, don't drop your parts. Don't drop your parts. Oh, ho, ho, ho. most of them anyway. All right, let's see what's in the chiz. A yes. Core. Doobity boobity bop. Hey, I'll take it. My money's looking a little funny right now. I haven't been on my uh, my grind. I got to go out and hunt animals and get their meat so I can sell it. Sell my animal meats, my animal wares. Your animal wares. I'm basically a butcher in this game, Jones. I could role play as a butcher. That is malarkey, dude. They put that at a weird angle. What's up? All right, so you can't touch the ground. That's not an issue. <laughs> I also landed on something like a moving platform of some sort. Yeah. That was interesting. Which seems like it probably will... Take me right to the ladder. <laughs> oh, I wondered if it took you away from somewhere. Yeah, all right, cool. All right, fair enough. Funny, Climb the ladder, do the thing. Funny thing's how ladders work. You can actually regain your stamp on a ladder, so ladders are free. Yeah, I, I just thought that was funny. All right, just making sure I'm not missing anything. We got another upward blow. These, this is this is a fun shrine. I like this type of this. This is my type of shrine. Look at that. You gotta pop it, dude. Can you can you pop higher with? I don't know if I can. Oh, make you that. probably have to go up to the next level and then drop on it. Or something. Yeah, but how do I how do I get up there? Is the question because I can't go any higher than this. Up, 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 up. Yeah, that's as high as I can get. Oh, so now it's going to be all funny and difficult, huh? So if you question, yes. if you fly all the way up and allow yourself to drop and then open it, does it pop you higher? Because like, it gives you like the reverse. No, it's like PUBG type math right there you're trying to get in. So how do you get higher than the highest <laughs> than the highest wind will take you? Yeah, yeah. That's a good question. How do I do that? What was the name of it again? Wind something. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, well we don't know. I don't remember what so the wait, name on. is. There's that. What is that thing? Where does, that's where I that? started. What does that power tower do? That, that's where I started. That's where we came in. Oh, that's the That's our thing. entrance shaft. From the surface. All right, so let's let's immediately see if we can stop anything. We cannot. Let's see if there's anything we can manipulate. Why don't it manipulate? Let's get. Come on. Let's get up high. Don't see anything. Just see this chest. It said the path of hidden wind, right? So maybe there's some hidden wind I'm not seeing or something? I don't think it said the path of hidden wind, did it? I thought that was the name of it. Yeah, I figured it was going to be easy. No, dude, it's it's fine. It's fine. We're going to look at this, dude. It's cake. It's easy. We just got to figure out where the hidden wind is. All right, let's let's go up here. No, you can't make it, dude. I don't know. Definitely can't make it to that. All right. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I honestly have no idea. This is a little 
little nuts. Let's see if I can freeze anything. I can't. Does the wind change with the positioning of that platform? It does not at all. Does it change? Does that platform cover wind? It does not cover anything windy either. Oh, it might cover that one. It does kind of cover that one, but is that is that the thing? Is that it? That can't be it. That's that's crazy. That's dumb. I mean, that is the only thing that's manipulatable in the whole area. But yeah. I mean, I think that's more to like keep it in place so you can fall on it. You know what I mean? Like that's more what it seems like. But yeah, because it doesn't cover that. And it doesn't. Yeah, it's not even touching that. All right, well, let's let's time stop it anyway, dude. What happens if I time stop it? Boom, it's done. Now what? Nothing. Nothing different happens. Yeah. All right, so let's let's go back down to base level. Yep. Reassess. Maybe there's something we missed. So we come in, we're here, dude. All right, we're here. We can't, we can't affect anything. <gasps> Could I bomb something? Do bombs fly up in the wind? That, I mean, it'll help if the bomb was over the. They, they do fly a little. <laughs> they bit. do. They do fly a little bit. All right. So what happens? Why did I just poop that bomb out? Interesting. Very interesting. That may be the answer I was looking for right there. Because I don't know. Can you move that chest? No, I cannot. We, we, I've already searched the entire yeah. world with this thing. If anything, anything I can manipulate this would, would glow red. Similar to anything that I can time stop. Oh, that's right. Glows yeah. yellow. Believe me, I'm at the point now where I've learned my lesson enough by looking like an idiot by not just turning the glow red, glow yellow uh, things on, where that's the first thing I do when I hit a room. I'm like, all right, what glows right, red, yeah, what glows yellow? Find something that's manipulative. Well, I'm thinking that it's the bombs. That's the only thing I can think of. Is that I, I have not seen what's up here, but this thing does get close enough where it could affect something. So let's. It does not get close enough. Yeah, I don't. I honestly don't know then. Yeah, because it only lifts you so far. Hey, mom, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> and there's that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know what? It was it was worth the shot. It was. It was. All right, so I'm going to go around this thing next. This is the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to see if there's maybe... A ladder on the opposite side or something stupid. Yeah, dude. Like something crazy might be happening. Ah, uh, that's it. Stupid. <laughs> Path of hidden wind, dude. Yep. Path of Hidden Wind, dude. Video games, though, by the way. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's kind of cool that they did that. Yeah. Video games, by the way. Just want to put that out there. You think I mean, you that's like the only thing left to try. Oh, you, you, you can go get that. God, that's a really far way to go, and you got it. Boom. Okay. Doo -doo 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 core. Nice bow. Oh, a with, nice bow, though. With an attack up on it. 36, dude. That's pretty nice. All right, so unfortunately, I feel like I gotta drop this because this thing's about to break anyway. Yeah, it is my only wooden bow, but drop it. Yeah, yeah, I'll take a knight's bow with an attack up. Fair enough. All right, cool. And then this we was go. this was not too bad. <clears throat> just just took a little bit of searching. Yep, and it's like, and the and the part is, it's like it was literally easy as can be it was just like thinking yep. about <laughs> I mean at the end of the day it's still a Nintendo game <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean like yeah. ultimately yeah yeah search your surroundings no it's never it's never like dexterily hard it's like it's always like 
Yeah. He just didn't surf. <laughs> yeah. It's 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 kind of like a, like a word search almost. Yeah, dude. Like exactly. It's like, like the harder you look for the word, you're gonna find it. It's right in front of you. All right. Here right. it is. Yeah. They're all in the puzzle. Like the answer is there. It's yeah. not like you have to do something out of the ordinary. Yeah. It's just oh, it was backwards this time. <laughs> right. Which was always the worst word in word search. Oh, the God, one that showed up backwards. Ones that are backwards, dude. Right. Ugh. My grandma taught me a really awesome technique with word searches. Oh, wow. You got some tech. All right. I'm, I'm actually excited to hear your tech. So, like, Flight range. Um, been there. like when, oh, let me ask you first, I guess. When you do a word search, how do you, how do you look for the words? Like, where, where, like what, do you, what do, you have a, do you have a meta that you follow, or do you just, like, try to find them, and that's how it works? Uh, honestly, I like to go for – I check corners and edges first. Because a lot of times they'll put like an entire word like right. on the edges, and that's usually the first thing I go for. And then I look for abnormal letters, letters that don't show up a lot. If there's a a a, a, a p in a word, I found that p is not like a common. Most common. Yeah, yeah. So not r s t l n e anything but those essentially. Okay. What my grandma taught me was What's like, that? say the word you need to find is baloney, right? Yeah. Yeah. You just like you just start cursing, going line by line through the puzzle, and anytime you see a B, go all the way around it. Oh yeah, and then yeah, you find yeah, the O, yeah, yeah. and then you're like, boom, and then yeah. you go to the next B. Okay, there's no O. Go to the next B. There's no O. You go yeah, to the next yeah. B, and I was like, that is the most simple yet yeah. way that I don't think most people do <laughs> word searches ever. And I was like, oh, that works out great. But then it almost takes the fun out of it because you're just like, it's like no, you're so dude. systematic about it that, that like. Yeah, I don't think it's fun in, in the first place, to be honest. Yeah. honest <laughs> I think that it's a, just an exercise and just like looking around at words on the screen. Dude, it seems like it'd be bad for your eyes, to be honest. All right, we're going to take a quick nap, Jonas, just to uh, get it to daytime. Oh. Because now that I know that you can do that. And then we're go gonna, talk to King we're gonna Falcon and. So you can get get moving on the next quest. And uh, yeah, dude, I can't wait to fight Rito, the freaking flyboy bird. Where are my flint and steel? Why am I having a hard time finding wood? Is right here. Hold that. Fine. Hold that. And then rocks are diamond. Flint right here. Flint, Michigan, dude. We got it. Uh, drop them together. Light them up. Sit. Till morning. Just, the the entire clear, area is on fire. There's clearly a wildfire starting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just He's like, like oh, I was gonna take a nap. Yeah, clearly there's a brush fire that's about to start there. He's fine. Now, though. can you put a pot on top of that and cook? No, you can't. I wish you could though. All right, voice time. Hmm, are you a traveler? <laughs> I'd like to show you around, but now's not really a good time. Uh, uh where? This is Rito Village, but, well, you could say we're not in a welcoming mood. Wow. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I've already been throughout your whole village. Talk to the folks of the village to hear about it. Any other question? What's going on? Just tell me. Give me the gist. I get it. You see the beast in the sky? This is the divine beast, Meadow. Meadow. Uh, it should be up a while. Oh, it showed up a while back. The Rito warriors who flew up to check it out were shot down. Oh snap! Yeah, they were. Uh, they ain't come at it with the right charisma. No, nah, they gotta be nicer to it. Complimented. Uh, it used to. It used to be a divine being that protected the village, but it doesn't seem very divine to me. Well, that's you know judgmental. Thankfully, Thanks. the only thing shoots anything flying above the village. Okay, it only shoots that stuff flying above the village. But still, it's pretty demoralizing for us Rito because we, we fly a lot, you know? Yeah. Any other questions? No, I'm good. Thanks. That was enough information. I'll go handle your fly problem. Yep, you're going to meet, like, the guy. He's going to be like, oh, why do you get to go fight me? Is this boy <laughs> <can> do it? <laughs> <laughs> I am going to beat that guy. There always is there, one. There's dude. always one, dude. Stamina, yeah. stamina. We're going to go stammies. Stammy boys. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. Give me that green droplet. Give me all your green drops. A little green dew, dude. Yeah, Mountain Dew. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> just a bottle of Mountain Dew. It's like, yeah. It was 
pop off one of the horns and drink it down. It raises your stamina. Imagine that. <laughs> Boom. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. I will. I'll go bring some peace. Aw, you're going to make everybody happy. All right. Are you important? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought you were a woman, dude. Uh, have you seen a divine beast? Yeah, I saw it. Everyone in the village is freaking out. Looks like everybody's freaking out. Yeah, dude. I'm just sitting there. <laughs> My mom is so annoying. She asked me to help out at the store every single day. I'm like, <laughs> what a bee, dude. I know, dude. I can't take it anymore. I don't want to just help. Aww. I want to open my own store and sell, like, whatever I want, like, fursuits. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> you got a problem? You got mad when you threw it. Yeah, that. you got a problem? I broke your ish. So, do something. Say something. Be something. All right, so this must be the store. We've already seen the store, right? Oh, this is oh, a different place. store. Oh, you could have went there and slept, dude. Oh, uh, I could have come here and slept. Hi. This is side questers. Yep. Neither morning. He's like... You want to fight the beast? Yeah. Nice to meet you, fellow atomizer. I always liked the simplicities of nature. Although I'm starting to regret choosing my honeymoon destination. Not much to do, so my wife is complaining nonstop. She won't even talk to me. Oh, man. Damn. Doesn't work. She's going to divorce me for sure. <laughs> Whoa, fam. This God. Guy. <laughs> I need to make some baked apples to keep my wife happy, but I don't have any flint to start a fire. Oh, well, yeah, there you go. Yo, Talk brother. To him there brother. You go. Right? You don't have any flint, do you? Oh, he wants to buy it off you, too? Okay. Uh, oh, thanks. I promised her. Here's your payment 100 rupees for a piece of flint. All right, now I can make some baked apples. I still need to make more baked apples, my so wife. So please bring me more flint. Well, I mean, how much do we have to do? Yeah, I mean, you have 180 of them or something. Are you really? Can you sell me 100 of those? Okay. Thanks. He better give you a a thousand, a hundred times. Give me 1,200 bucks. Not bad. Wait a second. Hold up. What's up? He gave you. Hold on. You, he gave you 100 rupees for one. And you gave him 100, he gave you 1,200. Yeah. That Aww. sounds about right. He gave you 12 rupees a piece? Oh, you're right. 50 of those. Yeah. I'll sell you 50. Uh, How much does 50 give me? 500. So He's all over the place. Yeah, dude. <laughs> the stock's on Flint. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> the Flint market is just up and down, Jonas. You, we the don't first know. one's a hunt. You don't have enough now. You only have like a, now you only have like twelve Flint left. Twenty. I got twenty-two. That's oh, okay. plenty. Um, I, did you hear that? That noise? No. It went. Phew. That was a shooting star, Jonas. There's somebody. There's a lady at the desk. This is the. It's just the end. Oh, That's, they're going to be like, yeah, you want to sleep? It's, and yeah, like, it's no. very, very clearly the end, so I'm good on that. We're not going to talk to you. You're just but you got a lot around. of money. Now you can buy stuff if you want. I do have a little bit of money. I could buy bomb arrows. I'd really like to buy regular arrows, though. Yeah. Um, I'll take them all. How much is that? All three of them? 60 rupees? Hell yeah. Like, bomb arrow. I mean, how much is it going to cost me? Five of them? A thousand? Jesus, no, that's a lot. No, you, no. you have like 160 <laughs> of them anyway. Yeah. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to buy some of this armor up here because I do remember that being a thing. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I really like the way that this this top looks. Well, I think it's what? How much is it? 600? I think you have enough for all of it, to be honest. Six, 550, and a thousand. Yeah. So it's like 2100. 2150. Oh, fair. Let's buy it. Well, yeah, and it'll help you with the cold area. Thanks you for your to. purchase. Oh, just enough, man. Yep. And all it cost me was all the flint I've been collecting oh. for over the years. Yep. Nice. Yes. All right, let's put it on, dude. Let's see what we look like with the new gear. Yeah, I wonder why they gave you a cold resistance so early just to make a whole nother cold resistance set. That's really a valid point. <laughs> and, and you just have, like, one thing that gives you cold. Maybe it was because you had to go in the cold early in the game or something. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I know that this thing, you can't upgrade at all. 
So that's always been. So it an just issue. must have been the first thing they give you that just happened yeah. to be because they figure Colbert is the most common. Because I think the fire is supposed to be the last one you do. Yeah, and it already looks like I can I can upgrade this, but it looks good, man. I like it. I feel like uh, an explorer, dude. Like I'm gonna explore the frozen wasteland. Well, Andy gives you how much cold resistance? Does it give you enough that you don't have to take cold potions now? So. If you look at the little gear in the corner right next to the map above the moving purple bar. Oh, it gives you one solid. So as it gets colder, that that uh, cold bar will raise up. So I'm pretty low. Like, the uh, the gauge is showing me where I have to be to be comfortable, kind of. So you, so I'm in, so you, have, you have three cold resistance. Because uh, one yeah. of three is full? I, uh, is that what that means? No, it's that's time of day. I'm oh. talking about the little gas gauge with the yellow. Oh, the gotcha. Because each piece of that granted you cold resistance. Oh, there's a place to cook. Yep, there's a place to cook. Uh, I don't want to talk to you because I don't think you're going to tell me anything. She's just going to be, yeah, yeah. You know the owl elephant looking boy yeah. is going to be the man you got to talk We're to. We're definitely getting there. Have oh, I there, been that there? looks important, too. Have I been there? I don't know, but you might as well talk to the guy. Up the th there's only one more place to go up here, I think. Just one more boy at the very top. Yeah, because, okay, and I can always jump off of there. Yeah. Do, do, do. Oh, my God. I'm just getting the Christian. Oh, wait, where is he? Yeah, where the heck is he? Oh, he's one more up. I guess he's a little farther. Welcome. Welcome. What's the matter? No offense, but this is not your concern. That cursed monster. Oh, okay, he's so you're just depressed. He's oh, sad. He he's a sad there boy. There he is. There's... This what is, the hell is oh there he is he's over there. <laughs> I was like God every there's another quest quest but this has got to be the guy a visitor welcome to oh 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 the oh. object on your hip could it be forgive me where are my manners I'm Kennelly elder of Dorito Village yeah dude now then is that a Sheikah slate dangling on your hip or are you happy to see me. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. It's, it is true. It's so big. The <laughs> that, legend is true. <laughs> that must mean that the champion, like the Master Rivali, one uh, of the few able to board the Divine Beast Valruta. Or no, this one is Mado yes. Meadow. No, what was I thinking? The champion have all been dead for a hundred or a hundred years. That boy is must be a mere descendant or an inheritor of the Sheikah Slate. Ah, uh, forgive me. His hands are big, dude. Ch really big. Champion descendant. If you would listen to this old man's request, you would have my eternal gratitude. Yeah, I'll listen. He probably gets a killer massage. Thank you, truly. Yeah, dude. He's got wing hands, dude. It's in interesting. <laughs> now that I know you have the blood of a champion, there is something I must ask of you. How shall I put this? I would like for you to deal <laughs> with my issue. My right. pro <laughs> the, pro <laughs> the giant bee circling above us, Val Meadow. Uh, only the chosen champion can stop the divine beast. You must enter the beast excuse me, and bend it <laughs> to your will. <laughs> Wait, hold on, fam. What are we talking about here? I got to enter the beast and bend it to my will. Uh, I tried to explain this to the more headstrong warriors, but they merely wouldn't listen to reason. Uh, Teba and Hearth tried to confront Meadow, but it did not go well, and Hearth was in Oh, that was the guy we just talked to. Ah. Teba escaped unscathed, but I fear he now has plans to face Med Meadow alone. As a descendant of champion, perhaps you can help us. Please find Teba. Uh, if you work together, you may be able to stop the Divine Beast Val Meadow. All right. So I got to find... Yeah, that guy who will tell you how to fight the beast. All right. And that's what we're on now. I think that's the guy who's like, was in the... There was one guy you skipped over before you talked to, like, the crying boy. It says it's in here. Oh, this, then, this... yeah, it must be her. Forgive my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking Stacey with the elk. <laughs> I know. It sounds like you intend to help my husband, Teba, in the fight against Meadow. But to tell the truth, there's not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went. I mean, that would be helpful. Yeah, that is definitely help. Well, my husband's headed to a place called the Flight Range. Which I've you've been, been there. All right. 
uh, eating the Don Dronic Pass at the base of the uh, Heber Mountains. It's a place where Rito warriors prepare for aerial combat. I imagine he's gone there to gather weapons for another run at Meadow. And as it happens, he made his way to the flight range on foot this time. If you take the river's landing, it is straight down to the flight range. River's landing is a memorial for the Rito champion Rivali. So named in hopes that none might forget the events and that uh, horrible day of that horrible day. Oh, oh yeah, dude, with the uh, with the Star Wars symbol on it. Oh, I so swear done. that's the, that looks a lot like the Star Wars symbol. I don't know anything why about Star they, Wars. Why do they keep? Okay, I get it. It's important. Oh, he's gonna have a flashback. Uh oh. Dude, I remember a hundred years ago. This is like severe deja vu. All right, there's a rib cage. <laughs> it does. Ha <laughs> ha! Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. <laughs> Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. Foreshadowing. With proper utilization of yep. my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But got let's drug not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Jeez. Despite these Guy doesn't truths, like himself. It seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong. Maybe let's, we should just settle this one on one. Let's go. But where? Oh, I know. How let's about fly. Up there? <laughs> oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. <laughs> what a jerk, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He's just so smug. Oh my god, he's just so smug, dude. Yeah, I know, dude. What a oh, a -hole, dude. I know. I don't want to help this man. I don't want his power. Oh, he remembers this happening previously? Yeah. How could you forget? I'd never forget that. Descendant. Dude. Descendant, are you all right? I'm having a PTSD flashback <laughs> about the man being mean to me. My apologies. I fear I've said too much. If there's anything you do not understand, please do not hesitate to ask. I'll ask. Don't worry. All right. So, really, that area that we're supposed to go to, I think, I uh, yeah. So, it's right here, and I can just... I can literally just yeah. beep, beep, beep. Nice. Oh, we'll do that on the next episode, man. That was a good one, though. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, this dude does Twitch things. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town at Heck Twitch yeah. TV. Oh, there's a rock. Biddly, biddly, it. TNT. Catch you on the next one. We are out. Uh,